Hello traders, as promised, we're back with a second analysis today with the Forex Boat Trading Academy. Before we get started, I would like to remind you that information in this video is for educational purpose only, should not be considered as a financial advice. So what we're going to do is analyze the pound versus the United States dollar, the second top traded currency in the Forex market. And if you still haven't subscribed, do that right away to follow all the videos we post every single day for the market analysis, education, as well as live trade examples. So what is happening on the pound versus dollar? It's clear that the trend is up because we see higher highs and higher lows. But the most recent price action shows that the ascending channel has been broken on the four hour time frame, which does imply that the trend is still very bullish. Besides, we have this simple uptrend trend line from the bottom of the channel connecting two lows and we had the clean rejection of the trend line as well as 50 simple moving average. So what it tells us is that this could have been the bottom before the next wave to the upside. And if I just zoom it out, we can see that there is a FIPS applied to this correction to the downside, this big corrective move. And we have 78.6 FIPS at 133.10. This FIPS, previously there was a resistance, support, resistance, resistance, and now it is acting as the support. As you can see, very clean rejection. We had closing price right at this level and prior to that we had yet again resistance on the hourly time frame we had this clean rejection and then both four hour candles failed to break and close below in fact we had the rejection of the moving average and price started to move up so four hours we are holding this strong key support and it seems like this low should be playing a very important role, although it's possible that the price will attempt to break this support, this low here, but we only need to hold it on the four hour time frame. So this is the key support. And if it holds, we should be seeing the move to the upside. Now, what could be the upside resistance and the target? Well, we have two of them. First is at 137.00. This is a strong psychological resistance but it is confirmed by two Fibonacci retracement levels. First was applied, as you have seen, to this big move to the downside, where we have 127.2 FIPS, and another was applied to the most recent corrective move to the downside, where we rejected this support. And we have 127.2 FIPS and 327.2 FIPS exactly at the same level. So this psychological resistance could be tested as soon as tomorrow, which means that there could be a 150 pip move within 24 to 48 hours. But the corrective move down also should be expected to retest this low and potentially kick out all the stop losses just below this level at 132.62. Now the second resistance is much higher, which is at 161.8 FIPS and it is 139.76. It is confirmed by two FIPS, as you can see, 161.8 and 527.2. It not exactly corresponds to the 161.8, but still could be the second upside target if this resistance will get broken. So overall, we need to wait and see for the time being, but I think that the trend is ongoing. There shouldn't be any massive downside corrective moves, while this could be this key support level to watch. But I mean, if we get below this support, this will definitely get invalidated. So maybe we will see some stronger move to the downside, potentially to the bottom of the ascending channel. But this is highly unlikely at this stage. I think the uptrend continuation holds higher probability at this particular moment, considering this price action where we had the breakout above the channel and we had the rejection of the support. Overall, bullish 150 pip at least upside move and then maybe there will be a corrective move to the downside or even a trend reversal. 
So that's it guys. In our previous video, we went through all the previously made analysis so you can watch it. It was posted today and for the pound US dollar, if you enjoyed it, click the like and subscribe to our channel to follow our daily market analysis. Take care and we'll speak to you tomorrow.